Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs. It is July 22nd, 2024. And last year I put out a video on July 25th, 2023. And my figs were probably uh, behind this year's figs by a day or two. So basically the same. Um, and I was showing how to pick the figs and when they're when they're actually starting to swell. So when you see a fig, let's go around, this is my Desert King. When you see a fig that looks like this and it's getting bigger and it doesn't have any signs of yellow and you feel it and it still feels pretty hard. And if you look at the osteole, it's just starting to open up a little bit. That's almost swelling, but that's not swelling yet. So let's go ahead and see something that's swelling. When they're swelling, you'll notice the osteole begins to look like that, opens up a little bit, and the fig color itself turns a little bit yellow on DK. So this is soft here, ni nicely soft, and not quite soft enough at the neck. So these are a couple days from picking. And, uh, with DK, the crop will start swelling, start coloring, and start actually becoming ripe. And it will stagger a bit. You won't get them all at once. But this year, I'm going to get quite a few that are going to come together at the same time. So DK is doing its thing, looking really good. Uh, lots of figs. Oh, let's pull this branch down here. This branch is about seven feet. And you can see... Let's see if we can get the color on there for you. There, see that nice yellow? And uh, that one probably might, might be my first one that's ready to pick. So we're very, very close to the same time frame as last year. Maybe I had, had a couple of days. This fig over here is called Long Viewed. It's a French fig. And it has large, large breva. And it ripens at a different time frame. It ripens later. And... These are rock hard. They're all rock hard. Nothing is, is starting to swell on uh, Long Du yet. Let's go up and look at another Brava producer. This is by Pharaoh Zeus. And uh, it is a fig that will change color as it's ripening and getting closer. See how that's getting a nice red? And you see the osteole on this is opening up nicely. Mm getting soft not soft at the neck yet S very similar to uh dk as far as when they're these are going to ripen probably within uh three or four days i'll start getting a lot of these they're all starting to just boom look at that beautiful one swelling getting that red color there's another one so you go around and you'll see They'll start swelling and coloring. There's another one. I'm just walking around the tree looking for them. There's one. So by Pharaoh Zeus, this year is going to ripen some really nice Braba for me. But like I say, the, it appears to be coming on at about the same time as Desert King. Long Diude over there is a little bit later. Okay, I've got one more Braba producer here in the old part of the orchard. And it, it's Corky's. And you can see that one. Osteole just starting to open a little bit. And it's just a little bit behind DK. Two big ones up there. This is probably the biggest one on the tree. And uh, just starting to get soft. So very, very similar to uh, DK as far as these figs. Boy, they're huge. Look at the size of that one. It's really big. So that's another Brava producer. That they're all gonna come on at a similar time. DK by Pharaoh Zeus and Corky's. And LDA will be a little bit later. And it's just the way it is. It's a, it ripens typically our Brava in August. So let's walk over. I'm gonna go through the orchard and I'm gonna try to figure out a couple that have Brava. This is Vincenzo. It has one Braba on it. And uh, 
it's not swollen yet. The osteol does look like it's opening up a little bit, though. That's a good sign. I think Bertolino had one. So these are young trees, right? Can't expect too much out of young trees as far as Brava, as far as the number and quality. This is actually, uh, this is Bertolino and the Brava looks a little funky in there. Not really doing much of anything. Young tree. Let's walk down. Uh, did Fico Seco have, have any Braba? No, Fico Seco just has main crop. So we're not going to look at that. I'm going to go down to one that I just put in ground this year. And it has two Braba. It's I-376. Had a wonderful day out on the lake yesterday. Not many boats for a Sunday. It was kind of nice. Um, so you look down in here. And uh, there is... A Braba in there. Rock hard still. One there and one there. So this is a tree that just went in ground. Looking really good. This new growth looks nice. Had a really great year in the Willamette Valley for growth. Uh, it's been warmer than normal for July. We had five consecutive days over 100. And we've had lots and lots of 90 degree days. So it... Uh, People say, oh, it's the Willamette Valley. It's, it's cool in the summer. It's not cool in the summer here. It's dry and it's really warm. Cool other times of the year, but when the figs are growing, it's not necessarily that cool here. That's part of the reason why when you look at the fields, you see how dry they are. Um, very, very little rain, if any, and uh, hot temperatures. We, we typically have a lot of 90s, so it's not cool here in the summer. There's a misconception that it's really cool here in the summer. And it really is not cool here in the summer. It's warm here in the summer. But remember, the Pacific Northwest is a really large area. And when you look at the Willamette Valley, that's just one part of the Pacific Northwest. There are so many different climates in the Pacific Northwest that you can't just use the blanket statement, the Pacific Northwest, and really be speaking with authority. You have to add where you're at in the Pacific Northwest. I'm in the Willamette Valley, and I try to mention that in my videos the best I can. I wasn't really going to do any other trees, but somehow I can't walk by LSU Tiger without looking at it this year. This is the one that won't give me figs. And this year, they're still not huge. They're not as big as the figs in my pots, but they're nice and there's lots of them. So LSU Tiger might be giving me figs where I can actually harvest them this year, but I'm 5'10 and I'm coming up to right about here. So we're looking at, I don't know, about seven feet on my LSU Tiger. Looking really, really good this year. And uh, I'll make this a brief video, and we'll end it with uh, Campanieri. This is, a, this is the most figs I've ever seen on my Campanieri. And this isn't a big fig to begin with, so these are that's pretty good size for still in July on Campanieri. It is just absolutely loaded. So that's a little Braba talk for the day. So all the Braba varieties don't come on at the exact same time. There are earlier Brabas, there are later Brabas. Um, they have a shorter ripening period than most figs, uh, but they still have a ripening period. They don't all ripen at once here in the Pacific Northwest. They come on and then you, every few days you'll get a few. So if you're on, on your A game picking figs, you'll go out every few days and pick and you'll look at something like, let's say this by Pharaoh Zeus that's starting to color, not even really feeling that soft. You'll wait and you'll, you'll tell by the color with the Zeus when it starts to get really red. But on DK, you get the color thing working in as well for that whole yellow thing. You'll see them start to tip down like this. That's very soft. And the neck is still firm. 
So like I said, we're pretty close to the same exact time for ripening this year as last year. My um, DK has less figs on it this year than last year, but they're, they're bigger. They're much bigger than last year, which makes sense. Less fruit, they're gonna get bigger. And that's just a function of what happened naturally. It's nothing I did. So the Zeus and Breba and the Willamette Valley. It's hot here. It's dry here. Um, it's a perfect environment for ripening Breba because it's we're in that window where we're that Mediterranean-like climate and uh, dry is so good for figs when you're trying to trying to ripen, especially the larger figs. So you take a fig like uh, LDA, these these Breba are going to get really big. Well, the, if you have a large fig, you if you have dry climate, you have a much better chance of not having pest issues, um, not having them split apart because it's drier. And uh, that's just a little little information on Breba. So if you're new to them, if you're new to DK, which is the kind of the the mainstay here, you know, we are, once again you're looking for that osteal to begin to open up a little bit. You're looking for the color to become yellow. And ideally, you're looking for the up by the neck to start to get soft if you want to get them at the peak ripeness. Okay, hey, welcome to the Pacific Northwest and welcome to Breba. And uh, they are wonderful here. You're not, we're not settling for Breba. You're not settling when you're ripening them in a really, really dry climate. They're, they're wonderful. Depending upon the variety, they can be as good or better than main crop. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. This is Chris. We'll see you on the next one. Always appreciate um, a like and always appreciate a subscription. It's Breba time. Let the figs be in.